All right, YouTube, what's up? It's Iceman. Uh, I've got a box here, which can only mean one thing, a new knife. And I normally don't do unboxings, but I'll use my ZT560 CBCF to do this little unboxing video. Uh, I'm mainly doing this video unboxing because this is a brand new knife that is relatively unknown to a lot of people. And I found only one other video on YouTube. Ugh. Okay, biggest pet peeve ever is flipping packing peanuts. So stupid. I will tell any kind of shipper, don't use packing peanuts. So you got your invoice. What is this right here? Oh, oh sweet. Tough Glad. Hey, that was a free gift. I didn't order that. That's that's a bonus right there. Yeah, most of that's just packing peanuts, so nice. That was cool. Extreme addiction um, for throwing that in. Some tough glad lube. I did not order that. So that is pretty slick. Love it when retailers give you free gifts. So we got here a really plain looking cardboard box with some kind of serial number on it. And some more packing peanuts. YourExtremeAddiction.com. That's the re retailer I ordered from off of Blade Forums. So, business card. And, ooh, that's kind of cool. Got this little tool here. It's got some crazy looking design on it. That's actually probably to adjust the pivot because this, this knife is made by Lion Steel. Holy beefy mother, that thing is big and hefty. So this is the Dendra Defender. Dendra are, is made by Lion Steel. You can see the roto block that Lion Steel is famous for. Uh, it's got the same type, typical pivot that Lion Steel uses on their um, on their knives. This is a flipper. It's got machined. Uh, G10, which is really nice feeling. It's really grippy. This is literally the first time I touched this knife, so I'm gonna do some oogling and ogling with you. <laughs> uh, titanium frame lock. It's got the roto block. It's got the pocket clip for tip up carry. <laughs> yes, now I'm not gonna mess that one up. And it looks like it's right hand only, so bummer for you lefties. Got your lanyard hold here, and let's see how the flipping mechanism is. Ooh, that is that is tough. That is not going anywhere. That is really firm wow so there you go defender and that looks like that's the dendra um, logo that was on that little tool too so the defender you got some you got a nice uh, swedge here for your thumb and you got some crazy uh, almost looks like jimpy on the top of the blade which is obviously not sharp but it looks pretty sweet d2 steel Got a nice blade. I mean, it's a it's a it's a handsome looking knife. It's definitely unique. It's big. I mean, it's beefy. It's you can see. I mean, my whole hand fits on there real nicely. It's got some good jimping right here on the spine. It's got your dual thumb studs. G10 backspacer. Like I said your roto block. Lock up nice and early. No blade play at all. That's good. Uh, it's a little bit sticky of a lock. Mm -hmm. Down. That was my little girl. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, a little bit sticky of a lock though. And it is not flipping. I mean that is... Oh, that is rough. That is really rough. I mean what's the point of having a flipper if you're not going to be able to flip the knife open? I mean I, I guess I'm spoiled by having a... ZT560 that just flies open. All my flippers really are smooth and nice. So I may adjust the pivot, um, put some of that tough glide on there. And that lock is pretty firm. I mean, I can't even get that to flip open with wrist. Hmm. Not a fan of that, but we will see. This is an unboxing video, so uh, I'll do some adjustment of the pivot with that little tool, put a little of that tough glide on there, see if that smooths it open and do another video. But this is just a first look at the Dendra Defender. Um, 
I've only seen one other video on YouTube about this, and it was by a, a knife um, re retailer, and he kind of just did a quick overview. Didn't really go into depth and detail about the knife, which I'm not going to do a ton today. I want to use it a little bit, um, but I do want to give a size comparison to the 560. So you can see they're very, very close in size. Yeah, I mean, they're almost identical in size, actually. Lengthwise, they're about the same. So it's a big, hefty folder. Um, it's, I think it's quite a bit thicker than the ZT. Um, not quite a bit, maybe a little bit. It's definitely heavier. Let's get out the scale. See how heavy it is. Six point three ounces, so about point four ounces heavier than the ZT five sixty. So it's a hefty knife. I don't mind hefty knives. I like big folders. My bulk rep center is probably heavier than this. So um, those those scales are nice though. That's got some nice three D machine on the G ten. So that's that's pretty slick. It's got the nice titanium, real smooth stone wash finish on the titanium. So I mean, pocket clip. Looks like it won't be too bad of a pocket shredder. So it's a cool knife. I mean, I really love the look of it. It's it's mean looking. It's uh, got a sweet blade. I mean, it's and the ergonomics are great on it. It's it fits your hand nicely. It's really comfortable to hold in your hand. I mean, I really like that. So that's a handsome knife. I mean, these run about 150 bucks from Extreme Addiction. Um, only a couple retailers I've seen on the internet that have these in sale on sale. So I got it from. I got it from ExtremeAddiction.com um, off of Blade Forums. Actually, he was the first vendor on there to introduce these knives. So, and there was quite a few questions and stuff about it. So I wanted to pick one up and just kind of be the guinea pig, so to speak. Check it out and do a kind of more in-depth video, so you can some high-quality uh, HD, so you can kind of get a good look at the knife. I mean, it's really handsome. It's beefy, thick. Um, looks like it's really good centering. Kind of hard to see though. Yeah, it's it's perfectly centered. So it's it's stiff though. I mean, my one negative thing about it is it's really stiff. And but that can usually be adjusted. I'll take that nifty little tool and kind of play around with the pivot a little bit. I'll save the video for that. I'll a different video for that. Uh, I did do a kind of a second in, uh, second impression video after a few days of using the knife and if I can get some of that lube on there and lighten up that pivot. Hopefully. When I loosen the pivot, I don't develop any blade play, but seriously, that is stiff. I mean, that is not kind of a flipper. I mean, it's going, that's a, that's a lot of firm action. And I could pull a nut and fancy and, you know, use my wrist every time I flip it, and that doesn't even get it open. So, yeah, it's definitely definitely firm. Um, the one negative I will say about the knife, but it's early. It's, you know, it's brand making new. It'll take some time to break in, adjust the pivot a little bit, put some of that lube on there, and see what that does for it. So... I uh, look forward to another video, uh, kind of after I've done those modifications, which are very minor. But just to give you a, a quick macro shot of the the G10, I mean, it's if you can pick that up, it's got some really cool machining, kind of like an Anzo style pattern. It's got, I mean, it's got really a grip. So it's a handsome, handsome knife. I mean, I really like it. Kind of has a hinderer type style to it. Kind of looks like a I mean, it looks really similar to this ZT here, and it's in its styling. So I like that, and I love titanium frame locks. So you know me and titanium. Um, it'd even be better if this is a carbon fiber scale, which they do make a. A Dender makes a knife called the Tiger Jump that does have a carbon fiber scale, and it's a flipper also. I um, wasn't a huge fan of the blade shape on that one, so that's why I went with the Defender. And I figure I can always have someone like Rival or Alex Dietz or someone put do a. Um, carbon fiber scale for it so I like the G10 though it's nice it's nice and grippy it's got a cool machining uh, on it so definitely a, a solid knife no blade play it's a little sticky lock but you know those things can break in I'm not a terribly picky person I'm not gonna send the knife back because the, the lock sticks a little bit at first because that those can be rectified a lot of times it just takes a break in but it's pretty sticky I mean yeah it's definitely like yeah but I think that can loosen up, um, and there's always ways to rem remedy that. So, and you got the rotor block, so if you wanted to lock this in place, 
It will not lock, it will not move. You can use, you know, have basically a strength of a fixed blade. That's kind of Lion Steel's deal. I'm not a huge fan of the Rotoblock. As long as it doesn't get loose. My Hess 2.0, it got loose and it would really unlock in itself. And one of my buddies actually modified it and I traded the knife to him and then he traded it back to me. And without the Rotoblock, he, he modified it. So it was just basically a, a lock bar stabilizer. And it was a lot better, so hopefully this one doesn't get loose. It didn't on my uh, Lion Steel SR1A, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, there's a quick overview of this. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. And look forward to another video once I get that pivot loosened up a, a little bit and a little bit of that lube put on there. And I gotta just give another shout out to uh, Extreme Addiction for including this stuff for free. I've never used Tough Glide, I've heard some good stuff about it, so it's got a nice little applicator, and that was a free gift he threw in, so. That's that's awesome. Big big uh, thumbs up for that, and I definitely recommend them as a retailer. You ship really fast and good communication. So um, yeah, any other questions or comments, leave them in, leave them down below, and I'll see you next time. All right. So what I decided to do is just combine these two videos instead of doing two, because I literally all I had to do was do a quick adjustment with the pivot tool, and bam, it's flipping out nice and smooth. I mean, I didn't even put lube on it, and it was flipping this smooth. I just put a little of that tough glide on there, and that didn't quite lock up, but it's 10 times smoother. It doesn't take really any wrist action. A little, little bit. I bet a little bit more of that lube, and a little bit working in. We'll get that to flip, but it flips open very nicely now. So that's nice. So that loosened up, and I figured it would. Uh, the lock's still a little sticky, but that can work itself out over time as well, and there's always the Sharpie trick if needs be. Um, after adjusting the pivot, no blade play, so that's always a good sign. So that's solid. I did want to point out a couple things I forgot earlier. So let's see if I can get this to focus here. There we go. So you see that made by Lion Steel Italy and designed by T. Antonovich. So um, from what I've read a little bit on the internet, Russian designer designs a bunch of nice for Dendra. So cool design. I mean, I, I'm digging it nice um, one thing I did want to point out too is I looked at and I didn't notice this and again this video is you know first impression just got it there is no liner on the G10 side so you got your titanium frame lock on this side and then just a solid chunk of G10 on this side no liner interesting I've always thought and always seen like flippers like the ZTs have a thin layer they have a thin titanium liner here then a thin G. Oh, this is a carbon fiber scale, but you know the other 560s have G10. Um, this one is just a solid chunk of G10, and it's thick. I mean, you can see pretty good size chunk of G10. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know if that's gonna cause any issues or if it's not gonna be as durable. Um, unsure, but just want to show the flipper nice and smooth now. Just took a little, I mean, a little adjustment with that included tool. So it flips open very nicely now. Uh, you can use the thumb studs or the flipper and the detent. Nice and strong, not coming out. So yeah, I mean, honestly, this knife improved 10 times by just uh, just a little adjustment of the pivot. And you know that, that lube's gonna help a little bit also. So the only issue I would think that this Hattie knife has out of the box for me is the, the lock's a little sticky. And honestly, the lock was a little sticky on my Hest as well, so um, I know on the, and this doesn't look to have, this does not have a steel insert like the Lion Steel SR1s do. So this is just titanium on steel, so not all the knives have titanium or steel inserts. I mean, most of the ZT knives don't have, you know, you can see there, there's no steel insert on that. So, you know, no big deal. I mean, a lot of knife makers have, have, have figured it out that you don't necessarily need a steel insert. It's nice because steel and steel is always gonna not stick like titanium can. But overall, I mean, we're adding another three minutes to the video, but gonna edit out a little bit and just a little pivot adjustment off off camera and bam, flipping up and very nicely. Nice beefy folder, really digging it. I think for the money, kind of locks a little sticky, not too bad. Um, but for the money, it's a handsome knife. You get a titanium frame lock. You get you know, nice 3D machine G10. It's got a sweet blade shape. It's kind of a unique looking knife. You got a nice swedge here. You got your jimpy on the top of the blade here. More for design than anything. I can't 
imagine choking up that far on the knife unless you've got gigantic hands but yeah a little pub pub adjustment and you know, 10 times better so there you go there's the dendra defender and a pretty in-depth look at that knife and definitely cool for the money 150 bucks uh, it's kind of hard to beat it's, you know you're in the zt uh 550 range but you get a flipper and a bigger blade and a bigger overall knife so yeah line still makes quality stuff so i have no worry about that knowing that they made the knife so that's pretty cool so any comments or questions uh leave them below thanks bye, -bye.